Forever and Ever is a new work that I'm creating. If I start with a more technical exercise creatively in the studio, often thematic concerns or other kinds of narratives start to emerge from the technical process. What's been interesting for me is ideas around the perpetual nature of existence, this ongoing kind of journey of life, growth and development that sort of manifests through that as well. Where does um, forever and ever really lead us as a, as a notion, you know, and where's it going to land in the end? Design is always quite an intrinsic element in all the works that I make and I rely heavily on uh, the collaborators that I work with to build a very unique, surreal aesthetic. Working with Paula, the costume designer, she sort of came to me with a pretty interesting idea, the idea of duplication throughout the process. Looking at the work being this continuum of existence and this sense of growth and development, she had this idea to duplicate the dancers on stage as the work progresses. It requires me to work in a very particular way. But these kind of parameters I always find very useful to sort of frame a work. Making music for dance works like this is very, very different from the music that I normally make with my, with my band. Um, when you're making pop music, you've got a three and a half minute window to try and say as much as you can. You've got to make it really interesting. It's really all about that song. When you're making a dance work, it's very, very different. Anthony will often give me the feedback saying, can we make less things happen, less changes? It's got to work in conjunction with all this movement on stage.